Hey guys, so I've been absolutely loving PUBG lately, but what I haven't been loving is my FPS. So here's how to improve your FPS in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. So the first thing I'm going to cover is my own specs. I have a GTX 770, an i5 4670K, and 8GB of RAM. Um, something else I think is worth looking at is the fact that I'm running this game on an SSD. I don't think that's going to improve my performance as opposed to running it on a hard drive because most of the issues come from not enough RAM or just really underpowered hardware in general. Like I still get things like stuttering and my frame rates are still not really that good. And an SSD just having, you know, just having it on faster storage is not going to improve your situation by a lot. So in this part of the guide, I'm going to show you how to add some Steam launch options and give you some Steam launch options to put in. Now, uh, you want to go to Steam, uh, open up your client, go to the library, and right-click on Properties on PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, and then go to Steam Launch Options, and you'll get this little box here which you can put stuff in. Now, people tend to uh, tell people to put these in, in guides, and everybody copies each other, so it's all the same. You're not going to see anything different, except I will tell you I'm kind of skeptical of uh, things like this, which really come from Armour and, like, DayZ. And I don't know if that just transfers to any engine. Like, we're on, this is a completely different engine. This is Unreal Engine 4. Um, I do have a know that this works in Unreal Engine 4, and this does as well. And that's going to get you some FPS, especially if you have a lower end system. Now, some systems, this doesn't do a good job at all. This actually um, is quite regressive as far as FPS goes in some systems. Uh, so you do want to give that a test before and after. Just make sure that, you know, it's going to work for you. And what that actually does is uh, that uh, goes from shader model 5 and it's bringing it down a level to, to level 4. So I think some newer cards are going to run it worse. And I know for a fact that older cards, lower end cards, are going to actually see an improvement from it. Um, so that's really about it. Also, actually, I should note, now I'm pretty sure the game runs this um, by default, but it's worth having it in there just to be safe. I'm also pretty familiar with this one. I'm pretty sure this one comes from Armour, but I, I don't I, I don't know, I haven't really checked, but I did see um, something from a an admin slash developer or whatever, I think, uh, saying, you know, advising somebody to put this one in, so I'm going to keep that one there, and what that does is that assigns memory allocation where the malloc comes from, it's not just a random word, the M comes from memory and alloc is allocation, it uh, assigns that job to the system over anything else, and supposedly that's going to be a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to click OK on that, and we're going to close this up and move to the next part of the tutorial. This next step in the tutorial is only for NVIDIA users, I'm afraid. What you want to do is uh, right-click on your desktop. You can access it here if for some reason it doesn't come up on your desktop, and you can also access it through the, um, what is it called, the uh, control panel as well. So uh, once you're in the NVIDIA control panel, go to Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings here, and I want you to find your way to, it takes a little while, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And if you don't find it in this menu, it's going to take a little while to find it in this menu. It's quite a long uh, list. Um, what you want to do is click Add and then order it by Recently Used. And you should see it there as TSL Game. And it should be, it should have that little PUBG logo there as well. So that should help you. Now I'm going to click Cancel. You probably want to click Add Selected Program but I already have it up here, so I don't need to. And I want you to follow um, these uh, things that are in bold here, because these are the ones that I've changed. And so, for instance, maximum pre-rendered frames, I've gone for one. Multi-display slash mixed GPU acceleration, single display performance mode. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance, threaded optimization on, and vertical sync off. Now, there's a couple of things here you might want to play around with. I haven't really um, done so. And that's really texture filtering stuff. Um, I don't know uh, whether that's going to give you any more frames if you uh, s if you turn any of these off or on, but they seem to be, um, I'm just going to let them do their thing really. That's uh, what I think is probably the safest bet here. So uh, so yeah, um, if we uh, close this off, make sure that um, everything is kept the same, we should be able to move on to the next step. Now I'm going to ask you guys to check out a program called Razor Cortex. Now, Razor Cortex is uh, really useful because it has this boost function, and there are many FPS boosters, 
Um, I used to use this one back in the day. I don't know what happened to it, but I, when I came back to get one, because I realized my PC was starting to get old, I found Razer Cortex, and I settled on this, and I know how to use this, and it's, I mean, most of them are fairly straightforward, but this is what the one I always refer people to. So, um, it works very simply. You normally will end up on this, and you just want to go over to the boost um, tab here, and then you can click boost, and you can also edit these yourself. So, for instance, um, things like Discord might be automatically, I don't know why there's three execute files, um, Discord might automatically be ticked here, and you might want to talk to your friends. Um, I've actually boosted it a couple times because <laughs> I kept forgetting to change it, but um, where it actually just cut me off of my uh, um, Discord chat, which is really funny. Uh, but yeah, just keep in mind that you can um, just use this tick box to take off certain things and it'll remember to close that program and open it back up uh, when you um, come off of boost mode. And by the way, it doesn't do just processes, it does services and non-Windows services and others. So it does things like uh, clean the, the RAM and the clipboard and things like that so it goes in in, in a lot of detail here uh, trying to make your system really streamlined while you're gaming and it's really taking out all of those things that you don't actually use in game but that you do use when you're on your desktop doing work or whatever you do browsing maybe and yeah so it's it, it like it's very useful for that and I definitely suggest those of you who are having trouble this with this game to run this so the next thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is run CC Cleaner. Now CC Cleaner is a very useful program. It's free. I'll provide it again. I'll provide a link down below. And what it does is it just cleans out stuff that you don't need on your system. And so if you are kind of paranoid about losing useful stuff, you can uh, just uh, use this uh, these tick boxes to select what you want and what you don't want. And there's also another category for Windows programs as well. And there's also other tools, but we're not going to go into those again because I don't really think that's going to help us too much. But um, definitely the cleaner is very useful. Now, if your hard drive is full, that is going to really weigh on your performance. Uh, you definitely don't want to be playing on a full hard drive, trust me. And so, yeah, so things like this is going to help you clean out those files, especially those temp files, which are quite infamous. All right, so we're pretty much reaching the end of the tutorial part here. The last thing I want to show you is PUBG Advanced Launcher. Now, this is really useful for streamlining some of the stuff that I've already showed you and also um, some other things as well. So we're going to take a look at the launch options first. Um, this basically turns all of that into just tick boxes, so you can tick the ones that you want and um, apply the settings and click launch now and then um, then you're good to go. Uh, now on the other hand game settings uh, now this is a little less intuitive you can't just load your settings in like I can you need to go into settings and actually um, put the path into your specific Windows No Editor. Uh, you want to go to app data it shows you how to get there and then go to local TSL game saved convig and then you'll find Windows No Editor and once you're in Windows No Editor I'm actually going to bring up a uh, Windows Explorer to show you this. Um, the easiest way of just finding that instead of having to type it out or whatever, uh, just copy it from there. It's really, really easy, really simple. Just copy it, paste it here, set path, and you are good to go. You can now load your settings in and you can start playing around with this. Now, if you have a really, really bad system, <laughs> you know, um, really terrible, uh, you can lower the screen scale uh, all the way down to 20. I wouldn't play at 20. I think 70 is really the lowest the game actually allows you to go. As you can see, low as possible goes to 70. Um, I wouldn't go below there. Even there is pushing it. I cannot play like that personally. It's just not playable. I need to be able to see people. Um, I'm a pretty cautious player. Um, but to be honest, I wouldn't take my advice. I've never even won a game yet. I, I've been spending most of the time um, editing or working. So... Um, my free time doesn't usually go into PUBG, but uh, I um, I wouldn't really go abo below there. I would try your best to, to keep the screen scale as high as possible. Maybe play in a smaller window, say um, I would normally recommend 1600 by 900 or maybe 1280 by 720 um, because that means you don't get the blurriness from the upscaling that has to happen um, and sometimes it works out a little better. Um, now you will get better performance from running like say 720p or 900p full screen but it'll look uh, blurrier and you wouldn't see as much um, detail. Sometimes spotting enemies requires that those little pixel movements and those will pretty much be um, hidden by the fact that it's upscaled so much. So um, yeah you guys can pretty much 
choose how you want to run the game from there on. I'm just giving you guys the options um, and letting you guys know what my personal preferences are and why, um, just to educate you hopefully a bit more on that topic. But um, yeah, other than that, I think there's not really much else that I could say. There are many things that you can do to improve the performance on your PC, but I didn't want to cover everything. I thought I would just stick to specifically PUBG to keep the video shorter. There are videos specifically aimed at improving Windows, or Windows's performance, and I'll link you to some of those in the description. Um, they are very, very useful uh, if you really want to um, make your system run the best it possibly can. There's um, some really good ones from Techia City. I've used those in the past, and um, definitely going to link you to a bunch of his videos. All right, so um, oh, taking shots already. No, I'm I'm not. Uh, this is not a live commentary. I'm just commenting over some gameplay. Sadly, uh, the fan was on in the background, and I didn't realize. So the audio is terrible. But I'll just turn that down. Now, what really matters is what the game looks like. This is what the game looks like for me with the settings that I've shown you. Um, this is actually how I play it. It is really playable. Um, at longer ranges, you might find it difficult, but that's just, I guess, what you have to put up with. So it's not ideal in terms of actually, you know, playing the game. If you could turn it up higher than just like absolute lowest settings, then I would, um, because it can be quite difficult at those longer ranges spotting other players, and it makes me really paranoid when playing as well. Jeez. But anyways, um, this is essentially how it looks. I mean, I'm getting anywhere from about 60 to 90 in this um, in these settings. Usually does go below 60. Um, no, <laughs> like. For, for short periods of time, but it does regularly um, go below that. Um, usually, when it's going, in, when I'm going into new areas, um, it does that as well. Um, but it's not so bad. It's not like rust where it just you know craps out when I look over a, a hill or something like that. But um, you know how it is. It's it's a early access game. We're probably going to be seeing huge improvements in uh, optimization over time. So um, you know those of you who can't quite play the game yet. You've, you know, you might be able to in the future when when things are looking up and and we see a lot more work being put into optimization. I know that Arc has been greatly improved, and I did a video on that where I commented on its optimization being completely terrible. Apparently, it's you know much better now. I I hope so because it's such a beautiful game. Um, but yeah, um, this I mean right now it's not easy to play uh, because it's very clunky for me. I don't really enjoy uh, the clunkiness of it. I'm, I'm an FPS player, so I really need, I, I really, really rely on consistency and, um, you know, as little input lag as possible, but I do feel that in this game, and it's hard for me to um, be consistent with my shots and things like that, because, um, you know, I need a really solid FPS, and it's not like I play it on a 120 or 144 hertz monitor. I play CSGO on 60 hertz, so um, yeah, that is a kind of a pet peeve of mine. It's, it's I don't know whether it's micro stuttering or just slight input lag, but I can sense something isn't quite so smooth with this game. Um, and that is down to the fact that my PC just, you know, isn't quite up to par. Um, running it on low settings and still dropping below 60 isn't ideal. Um, but again, that's going to change in the future once uh, we get some more optimization updates. So I hope this guide was of use to you. Um, I tried to be a bit more PUBG specific, but I also did some more general um, kind of tips like the uh, the game booster and C cleaner. Uh, now, if you're still having issues, just comment down below and I'll try and help you out. But also consider checking out the links in the description to more generalized guides on how to improve your FPS. So with that being said, thanks guys for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, then remember to like and subscribe and whatever. And I, I'm going to be honest, I don't always do videos like this. Uh, if Since the first one that I did, I probably put one out on average like every six months. Um, and the first one I did was last year around July, I think. And I really powered through that. I kind of just, that was all I did for a week, you know, just do that video. The Rust one, which I did after that one, was like like stretched over several months um, because I started the project uh, in 2016 and finished in like March 2017. Oh, there's the other one. Um, but you know, it's 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 a process which I think is um, it takes a lot of motivation to finish because by the end it's kind of soul destroying uh, to make these things for me because it's really the, it's really just the commentary is so hard for me to do. Uh, when I'm doing these videos, a lot of the time my schedule does not involve a lot of sleep. When you don't have sleep you get brain fog and when you have brain fog 
it's very difficult to talk coherently for a long period of time with no one else to help carry a conversation or something. So um, when you're, you know, you hear a lot of these ums and ahs from me, <laughs> that is that is probably the, the main reason why. Um, but yeah, it's it's not it's not the easiest thing in the world for me to do. I, I'm not really naturally very good at it. So thanks guys again for stopping by and checking out my video. And I'll see you in the next one. I was blind for that. You know the little corner. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, my timing is on point.